right winger Marjorie Taylor Greene is apparently locked in a heated feud with someone that she thinks is too crazy even for her, and that's Laura Loomer. So in a tweet, Greene writes this, Laura Loomer is mentally unstable and a <laughs> mentally unstable and a documented liar. She cannot be trusted. She spent months lying about me and attacking me just because I supported Kevin McCarthy for speaker. And after I had refused to endorse her last election cycle, she loves the alleged FBI. So this is lunatic on lunatic crime, everybody. This is what lunatic on lunatic crime looks like. Because like, what do you mean the alleged FBI? What does that even mean? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> but okay. Now what? No, no, to be fair to her, the rest of it was referring to Nick Fuentes, that he was an alleged FBI snitch. Oh, oh okay. that's why. Uh, but I thought she was uh, hating on the FBI over the raid in Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, it, but but she is referencing that by calling him an FBI snitch, basically. Mm -hmm. But uh, Brian Tyler Cohen, who uh, every once in a while will come on the power panel with us as another great host uh, on online, uh, busted her by showing a picture of Marjorie Taylor Greene with Nick Fuentes, and she, so you're saying Laura Loomer's a terrible person because she's with Nick Fuentes. Here's you with Nick Fuentes. And by the way, Ali Alexander, the guy who organized January 6th, one of the top insurrectionists, then said, no, I know for a fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't just accidentally wander into Nick Fuentes' conference. She carefully choreographed it. She asked his, that Fuentes' speech be slightly edited. So no, she's definitely went to court Fuentes' Nazi base. Yes, yeah, hundred oh, percent. So the rest of the sentence, because it's cut off, uh, she loves meaning Laura Loomer. This is according to Marjorie Green. She loves the alleged FBI informant and weirdo Nick Fuentes. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. Now, what sparked this fight to begin with? Well, apparently it was a piece that was written in the New York Times alleging that Trump was considering hiring Laura Loomer uh, to be part of the campaign. Here's what the article said. Trump met with Loomer recently and directed advisors to give her a role in support of his candidacy. Two of the people familiar with the move said, on Tuesday after Trump's arraignment in Manhattan, Loomer attended the former president's speech at Mar-a-Lago, his resort and residence in Palm Beach, Florida. Okay. But later, uh, there was some pushback among Trump's advisors. And so the New York Times report on the potential hire ignited a firestorm among some of Trump's most vocal conservative supporters. And by late Friday, a high ranking uh, campaign official said Loomer was no longer going to be hired. So Marjorie Greene was upset at the notion that the Trump camp would hire Laura, Laura Loomer. I feel like this isn't really about Nick Fuentes or lunacy and concerns about lies. I feel like this is really like some jelly jelly mm -hmm. commentary coming from Marjorie Green because I know she wants to be chosen by Trump to be his running mate. Yeah, I no, I actually am slightly on Marjorie Taylor Green's side in this. I'm not on anyone's side. These are both terrible yeah, yeah. people. Okay. <laughs> Terrible women. Of course, as a general thing, but in, in terms of who's right about this particular fight. So first of all, clear answer is no one's right. Because I mean, get, look, get a load of this. Marjorie Taylor Greene's main argument against Laura Loomer for not working with, that Donald Trump shouldn't work with her because she's a liar. <laughs> Donald Trump is like the world's biggest liar. <laughs> to, to him, that might seem like a positive thing. Like, oh, yeah, Donald Trump. You're so innocent, you're pure as the driven snow. You wouldn't want a liar around you. I know, but also Jenk, you don't even have to talk about Trump being a liar, which of course he is. This is like a classic pot meat kettle situation. Yeah. Like you think Marjorie Greene is a, is a bold truth teller? No, that's my point, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Look, there's only one thing that I'm with her on. All, all these things are absurd about Marjorie Taylor Greene. One, she's a giant liar, she lied about Nick Fuentes it, within the same tweet, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So on the Fuentes thing, Laura Loomer likes him. Marjorie Taylor Greene went to his conference and likes him. Donald Trump had dinner with him. They all like the Nazi. So this is, this is a hilarious story where they all hate each other based on the fact that they're actually kind of right. They're all liars and they're all lunatics. Absolutely. Okay. And Laura so, Loomer, by the way, is trash. Okay. So for those of you who were fortunate enough to not know anything about her, um, she's a massive Islamophobe. Uh, in fact, she wears that label proudly. Uh, in fact, she celebrated the deaths of uh, it, Muslim migrants crossing the Mediterranean. 
2018, she was barred from Twitter for violating its hateful conduct policy. To protest the ban, Loomer, who is Jewish, affixed a yellow star of David on her clothing. Just as Nazis made the Jews wear during the Holocaust, she said, and handcuffed herself to the entrance of Twitter's New York headquarters. And in response to Marjorie Green, she had like a dozen tweets herself. She says, you have a British foreign national who openly attacks Trump every day working for you and living in Rome, Georgia. I have the receipts. I don't even know what this is. I think she's talking about Milo. Oh, Milo Yiannopoulos. I have screenshots of you telling me you want me in Congress and that you were going to endorse me. You only changed your mind once you made deals with McCarthy. You're a disloyal liar and you're working with someone who said he wanted to make Trump miserable by setting up, setting him up at Mar-a-Lago. Again, that's Milo. Yes. And by like, look, they all work with the same guys. It's it's this is hilarious. So why am I saying Marjorie Taylor Greene is slightly more right? Because Laura Loomer, you talk trash about her nonstop. Now, when she talks trash about you, you caught feelings. No. Once you start talking trash about the other person, you don't get to catch feelings. So sad day for you. What goes around comes around. And so when Marjorie Taylor Greene strikes back, all of a sudden Laura Loomer's like, oh, can you believe someone criticized me? You tore into her before. So spread me your crocodile tears. You're all lunatics. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.